With the guitar, it's utterly counterintuitive. Uh, you think something's going to sound good, um, it doesn't. You think something's going to sound awful, it sounds great. Every time I write a piece, it generates out of the instrument. There's no, no exception here. The guitar really is, um, is, is an instrument which I started um, to get to know really through having met Elliot. Right, right, right. right. But it's, you have to get to it. Yeah. All right, let's find something. So why don't you try, give me the first, give me the first four notes. The concerto really starts from the guitar. Um, the guitar always astonishes me about what it can do and sometimes what it can't do. It both excites me and, and, and uh, slightly scares me. And then why don't you give me the, the chromatic, which I hate but I can live with. And you're off, and you're off. It's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. You, you want to write that down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> When I was a freshman at Yale, I had a friend and she said, oh, you have to come to the old campus. Elliot Fisk is playing the Bach Chacon under the maple tree. And I went out and there was this strange fellow and he was just sort of sitting there playing and I just felt like the, the, the alien had come down and landed and I was being transported. The Segovia says the guitar is, is an orchestra seen through the other end of a telescope. And so, you know, for me, it was like seeing this, this white on black image. It, 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 it just turned everything on its head. One, two, okay. three. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm out of trouble. Yeah. And, and you're going to pop those harmonics, right? The, the, the idea... Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Yeah. Over the years, we kept talking about this concerto. This concerto has been being talked about since... I, don't, I can't even remember, you know, it was from the, somewhere in the 80s. And now, here we are.